sounds sexy. Whatever that was. Is that a boy band? <laughs> Lady Gaga! So oh, sorry. <laughs> Madonna Light. I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Um, hi, I'm Amy. Um, I am a secretary by trade uh, because I got my degree in theater. And, um, thank you. My parents are really proud too. And um, when I'm not secretary, I'm drinking. That's pretty much all you need to know. Um, I I I work at the LA County Hospital in East LA which means I work with doctors, which I don't want to brag, I've done for over 12 years now. Um, I hate doctors. I'm really sorry if anyone here is a doctor. If you are, you can speak to me after the show. <laughs> and I will judge you accordingly based on your specialty. <laughs> Pediatrics is really the only winner. Um, I... Um, I, I appreciate that you're saving lives, but you've got to quit talking to me like I'm retarded. <laughs> it's got to stop. I understand an Express spreadsheet. I don't know how to say it, but I, it's crystal clear in here. Uh, I, here's the thing. I get that the doctors went to medical school, and I went to theater school, and they saved lives, and I told jokes. But all I've ever heard my whole life is that laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> And I have never once heard anyone say that medicine is the best medicine. <laughs> so, I'm just saying. I had a little bit of redemption recently when one of the doctors asked me if he could have a vacation day on February 31st. <laughs> Let that settle. I was like, nope, that day's all taken, but March 72nd is wide open, so. Um, <laughs> I'll go operate on someone. Um, so today is Earth Day. Um, I am a psychotic green person. I've been known to yell at people getting plastic bags at the grocery store. They don't ever biodegrade. They photodegrade, which means they never, whatever. We don't. We won't get into that. Um, I, but I've taken recycling to a whole other level, and I am only sleeping with people that I have already had sex with. <laughs> because when you throw a boyfriend away, where does he really go? <laughs> or is this a way? The ocean? I don't think so. It's a responsibility to go and get him and use him again. <laughs> Preferably very late at night, after many cocktails. <laughs> so, um... So my friend's birthday party last weekend, I was overserved, and I, um, <laughs> awful bartenders. And, um, outside of the bar, I, I puked. I've never done this before. I puked, and then I fell in it. So, I'm 35. I'm just, is that age appropriate? Am I good? I'm right on, I'm on par? That's, we're good? Okay. <laughs> Checking. 35 year old secretary, screen theater, yeah, things are looking good. Um, so, uh, there's this television show called Dancing with the Stars that I don't really watch, but um, it's going strong, and it made me think about how the last time it was going strong, what I really hated about it was that someone who wouldn't otherwise be famous sort of is for like 10 minutes, and that's par for the course, but. I hated that Bristol Palin, who we knew who she was, but we didn't really, look, like whatever. I, fine, she could be fucking famous, I don't care. But what I hated was that they billed her that her occupation was teen activist. I'm like, oh, is that what we're calling it now? Oh, okay, well then I guess I went to high school with a lot of teen activists. I'm from Louisiana, they're plentiful and I believe the vintage term is slutty. <laughs> but teen activist is nice. Like that's like a nicer way of saying it. Oh, if only we'd been able to do that then. Um, so I was at a bar and I, I don't know why I did well I know why I was at a bar. That's where I go, but I I don't know why I did this. I gave my real telephone number to some guy and the next day, he sent me a text message, which is when I realized I'd given him my telephone number, and he said, hey, it's Jacob, and I was like, oof. 
I remember Jacob looking very young, so I just responded, please verify your age. And um, he responded, born uh, like October 20th, 1987. <laughs> so I responded, oh, Jacob. <laughs> The year you were born, I had already had my period for two years and had already been fingered, but it was very nice meeting you. I don't know if you're surprised, but Jacob did not write me back. He had, he probably would have a boyfriend because that's fucking balls of steel. You're not here, right, Jacob? This would be an uncomfortable way to reunite. Um, but that's why I'm going to search and search until I find an application for my cell phone that prohibits me from sending late night text messages. You know, like, before I can hit send, it makes me do an algebra problem. You know? Or like, before I can hit send, it's like, diagram that sentence. What exactly is the verb in hi there? I wouldn't know. But, uh, what's the preposition in guess who shaved her legs tonight? <laughs> so I sent that one, which I didn't see until my outbox the next morning, and that was sad because I'd sent it to two people and neither responded, so that's good. That's out there in the universe. Oh my God. <laughs> be so pissed if I died during childbirth um, because that would mean for the last nine months of my life that I was sober and fat. <laughs> mean, that's not what I want. <laughs> Luckily it's not 1910 so I think we're probably good. Um, I do love kids. I have a niece and I love her. I'm obsessed. And um, I went to her birthday, her first birthday, and I helped her blow, blow out her candle and I realized, I was like, oh shit, this better not get all freaky Friday on me. And I blow out her candle with her and then I wake up tomorrow morning and she's lost 10 pounds and I got a Barbie on my pillow. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking pissed off. <laughs> She does not have to worry about dieting for at least like four more years. <laughs> hey, I hate it when people are like, um, hot people. Like, I'm really tired of you pretending like you were bullied and outcast as a child. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, I was awkwardly skinny. I was a 98 pound duckling. Fuck you. <laughs> Kate Middleton, this is her, her charity is this bully charity, which is lovely, but her thing is that I was bullied my whole life because I was too perfect and nice. <laughs> well, thank God your life's gonna turn around and you're gonna be a princess. <laughs> oh my God, y'all are awesome. Can I bring you everywhere with me? There have been some gigs where I've been like, remember that audience at Molly? They thought I was hilarious. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna read y'all this little thing. So, uh, Facebook is, have you heard of it? Um, <laughs> Facebook is, like, it's awful. Like, well, cause that time that my ex-boyfriend, his father liked our breakup on Facebook. But that, <laughs> hey, he was a doctor, shocker. Um, <laughs> but sometimes Facebook is awesome. So this is a message I got in my email box from a stranger on Facebook and, and what I responded to him. So I'm gonna read it to y'all. He says, hi, I am Marlon Campos, a producer and talent scout for Limelight. I saw your profile and I like your look. Are you modeling or do you have other talents? <laughs> Are you currently signed to an agency? <laughs> so I responded, Marlon, so glad you contacted me. I apologize for my tardy response, but I just got off the runway in Milan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I model. Um, as you know, five foot five, size six, 35 year olds are in great demand. Um, I was just telling my friend that I've always wanted to be represented by Limelight Productions, which according to my internet research, is a lighting and rigging company out of Massachusetts. <laughs> Afraid other than modeling, I have no other talents. I look forward to a fruitful career together. <laughs> Guess who didn't write me back? <laughs> I 
right, thanks guys, I made me clear, you were so good.